Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Hey guys, welcome to Alan Wake. I was trying to have a nice, clean intro there, but uh, some stuff fell off my desk, so, you know. I'm Valk, by the way, and this is a flashback. Honey! What? I'm home! Back here, sweetie! How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen! Oh my god, it's terrible out there. It'll warm you up. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Ah, it does look awful out there. We're supposed we're supposed to get our uh, first snow here this uh, this Thursday of the season. It's not gonna be too bad, but I'm looking for coffee thermoses, in case you haven't noticed. He looks a lot better right now than he does present day. Oh, he's got the same... Hey, wait, that's the shirt I'm wearing! In... Yeah. Why am I so... Oh, ho, 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 coffee thermos. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Oh, hold up. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood. Oh boy. Did I, how many of these did I get? Oh, I got almost all of them I could have gotten. I missed... One. That's not that bad! That's not that bad! These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh, she's scared of the dark. Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now, please. Where is the fuse box? Right here. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Ew! Hey, don't you be getting funky when the, the power's out. It's a terrible idea in a horror series. Bright Falls, the present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Very bad. 
I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Thanks, buddy. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm probably gonna have to kill him next, huh? Can I? There's something I wanted to try here. Advanced options. Like an LOD. Yeah, I wanted to check what that's set on on high. They're all max already. Well, I was gonna try. Because that pop in that's been happening, and especially in the grass, looks terrible. But it might just be a product of the time. Coffee? Hey, it's a scared old lady. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Yo, she's the smart one here, I'm just telling you. Mr. Wake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Okay, hold on. I need this coffee thermos. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no That's because he's over. dead. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. He is dead. You will not be finding him. I killed him. But it was self-defense, I swear. Wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Hold on, I'm looking for coffee. Okay, you're clear. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Oh, hold up, what? Richard Bow, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller on a camping trip overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you've seen there or know their whereabouts. Shit, there's a lot of people missing. Knack for winning contests. Wonder if they're the men I killed. The spirit, sh the shadows. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Do you have any coffee in here? Nope. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. I'm not Excuse calling. me. I need to take this. Hello? Me. Alice? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Mr. Park. Mr. Wake, can I There's help you with anything? Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no hey, such luck. Hey, he went Mr. on a bender and beat Danny hey, pretty badly. Light, he started shouting like that the on. moment he woke up. The deputies, up. they won't... they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here. Look, I understand, buddy. You will probably die in here, because they won't turn on the lights for you. I'm sorry, that sucks. Oh, hello. 
In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Hmm, the Dark Presence. Is that the old lady? Hey! Hey, you! Hey! Please help me! I wish I could help you. I hate this! I can't stand the dark- Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. You're alright. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Uh huh. Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterwards. Uh huh. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space oh, man. alien! I know it sounded like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. You all right? So did he run into one of the shadowy creatures? You think? Probably one of the shadowy creatures, TBH. If I was a betting man, that is probably what it would be. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Hold on, there's coffee over there. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting, the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Okay. That's where I'm going. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. <gasps> there was something for me in an abandoned car. Is it this? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak. The waterfall in the mountain behind us. The lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I oh fought boy. with the urge to take a swing. Force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Maybe he's my genie and I'm Al. What do you think about that? I think it's a solid plan. Is there any coffee behind her? It's worth checking. Bye, buddy. What happens if I turn the lights off on you? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way oh, a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. 
Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. You do not care. Well, I'm going to leave him on for you just in case so that maybe you don't come back as a shadowy creature later. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little house. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Uh, what the heck? Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Oh boy. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Are we gonna tell him that Alice is kidnapped or? I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. I mean, I agree with you, Barry, but... Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I what was the heck? just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony. Looking after Max. Poor thing. Who are these people? I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! How do you know each other? Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Hold on, Barry. I'm looking for coffee. Bucktooth Charlie? <laughs> okay. Seriously, Al, Charlie. what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just oh, disappeared? Fuck. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Do you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Okay, bye. Is that a dog? Puppy? Is that the dog from the radio? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. You have what happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Thank God. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone. It's okay, I completely understand. I'll go get it next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.